Hello everyone, looking forward to bringing you the action today coming from the Düsseldorf Arena. I'm Derek Gray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And without doubt a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It is Juventus facing Real Madrid. Well thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny begins in goal. Juan Cuadrado starts with Filip Kostic on the flanks. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Vinicius Jr. starts with Rodrigo out wide. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. A game that should have plenty to say for itself. Juventus kick off. Quadrado. Return to Quadrado. And the danger is averted. Juventus, the old lady, they know how to keep the ball. What can they do from here? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Vinicius Junior went in strongly to win the ball. Tony Kroos. Excellent defending. of challenge Quadrado terrific save well that's a top class save he read it so well <laughs> and played in by Di Maria a goal to give them a 1 0 lead, an excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And then, what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So underway again here, one nil the score. Camavinga. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Counter-attacking very much an option. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Rodrigo, Carvajal.
Modric. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. And reading it absolutely superbly. Rabio. This attack looks highly promising. Rabio flinging himself at it, the keeper. Taking the corner, Di Maria. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. And crossing here, Di Maria. It comes to nothing in the end. Magnificent defending. And the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here by the banks of the Rhine. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And so the battle commences. So the ball rolling again, second half underway. Will Real be able to up the game? A bit of pressing. Vlahovic. This is Kroos. Just the challenge that was required. And teammates around him. Di Maria. And offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Federico Valverde. Promising attack, this. Takes it on. The save was a good one. Corner kick played in, and a goal! The keeper couldn't stop it, Real Madrid on turns. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And then what a finish by Benzema. He just seems to have a great understanding of where to place himself in the box. That's a very good goal. So back underway following the equaliser. Intercepting it intelligently. Now can they counter clinically? Vlaovic. Well, the supporters think it's on. Real chance. And it's in. They're back in front. Stunning scenes here. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, 
they need to get tighter here. Di Maria, can they hit on the break? Well, not to be in terms of the counter attack. Kostic. Can he find the right pass? And he might be through here. Well, that surely would have put this game to bed. Well, definitely. That would have won the game for him. That's a bad miss. And they will make the change now. And good work from Real Madrid to win the ball back. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Quadrado. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, they put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent. And now they get the ball rolling. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. And played in by Di Maria. A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Rabiot. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Takes it on. The save was a good one. Corner kick played in. The keeper couldn't stop it. Real Madrid on terms. Vlaovic. Well, the supporters think it's on. Real chance. And it's in! They're back in front. Stunning scenes here. And he might be through here. Well, that surely would have put this game to bed. Well, definitely. That would have won the game for him. That's a bad miss. Quadrado. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. <laughs>